All right, so part three of the boat build. Um, it's pretty much finished. I didn't get to take it out on the weekend. Um, I was waiting for the ram mount to turn up for the uh, sounder that I got. I ended up getting a new sounder. I'll only use it on this boat and the other boat. I bought two transducers. Um, yeah, this is it. All done. So the wheels are on. The lift up wheels. I just bent these up a little bit. They're still underneath that. Lifts up. Drops all the way down. Nice. Nice clearance underneath the boat. Um, yeah, both drop down, fold away when I'm not using them. Maybe that'll be good for getting it off the car. I don't know. But yeah, when I'm in the water, they'll be up like that. Sander I got, new one. I thought I'd upgrade because I have only been using the Elites um, and I wanted side scan. I'm at the stage now where I think it'll come in really handy. So I've got a HDS7 Carbon, so it's the brand new one. Um, got all the, all the good features, everything on it. So, and I've also fitted it to this boat too. Um, so I'll run a five. I'll run a five just for maps. And I'll, I've got a mount there and I'll put a, I've got a mount up the front. I'll just run an extension lead. Um, transducer extension lead to the back and I'll just use the five for maps because I've got a lot of waypoints saved on there um, Map two map cards in there. So the custom Navionics and Like the C map. Oh, I've got the Navionics and the um, C map the insight Genesis on both sounders of all the rivers and stuff that I go in um, Instead of running two transducers. I thought I'd just go the total scan so I've mounted it here. I'm not sure how it'll read, but from what I've been told, there's a line where it goes from matte to gloss. That lined up with the underside of the boat should be right. But I have this all the way up as high as it can go, so I can bring that down to whatever I need. And that'll just fold up out of the way. Um, yeah, drilled a hole, ran the wire through. And then just in some flexible conduit, just ran that up to the front. That'll just get plugged in the back there. And I've got this little box with the power and just a little seven and a half amp, 7.2 amp hour battery. Don't know how long that'll last, but I'll give it a go and see what happens. Um, yeah, power lead for the electric extension for the battery. Didn't end up getting out on the weekend, so I don't know what it's like. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, this is the trans... I've got a spare transducer in here for that boat. And I'll take that off, put the total scan on, and then also take off this one here. Um, I might chuck one of these in my kayak. And then I can chuck the five in to that. And I've got a couple of mates with kayaks and they haven't got any sounders. So I've got a four up there, four there, and another f and a five there. So I might get rid of one to one of them. And yeah, that's about it. The little boat build. Frothing to use it. It's going to be a couple of weeks before I'm going to get a chance. Going up to the snow this next weekend, but as soon as I get out of the water, I'll take a bit of footage. I'll go pro from the bank and from on board, see how stable it is with the floor in, and hopefully I'm catching a few fish to make a video. All right, too easy. Yeah, that's it. It's been a pretty quick little build, really. Um, yeah, hopefully it goes really good. I'm not used to the side scan yet on the. Um, the new sounder, I'll have to muck around with that a little bit, but yeah, my mate uses it and he reckons it's pretty good, so this is the newest version with the newest transducer, so we should get some good results. Alright, catch you on the next one. See ya.